Welcome to Citadel vs. Army Painter, where I take two similar models and paint them, one with all Citadel paints and one with all Army Painter paints. And today we have some squigs. Don't let the size fool you. These are both basically the same kind of thing, right? They're both squigs there. And so here's how they have turned out. Very, very similar, you can tell here. Very, very similar. So which paints did we use for each one? So we're going to start on the Citadel side with this squig. Notice quite a bit of depth there on the height of the squig. Jumping off of the two skulls there. Lots of teeth. And that tongue is going and he's like drooling out of the side of his mouth or something. So how did we do that? Very simple. Four colors if you want to include the shade as a color. So we do have a shade on here. And we're going to start off with a nice corn red. So you want to first prime this in whatever uh, kind of primer you want to use. I actually was playing around for this squig. I was playing around with just putting the corn red straight on to a bare model. And it took a good three coats, but it primed them up okay. Then for the bones, I used Ushabti Bone, this layer paint. I have to admit... Uh, I'm not a fan of the layer paints to try to do base painting with, but, I mean, it's called a layer paint. You might have already guessed that. You might be saying, well, yeah, I mean, why why would you? Well, I did. I tried it, and it wasn't as great. It took quite a few coats to get those teeth and those skulls done. But, sure enough, we did. We did get them. We got them. We got them okay. Then, I shaded all that with this Agrex Earthshade. So, you can see it's very liquidy in there. It's kind of... Tipping around, so I just kind of splodge that on all over, and it it kind of sinks into those recesses and then dries. And so, like, down the middle of his tongue, you've got that, like, dark spot kind of in the little dips of you know, his skin, especially the tail here. You can see those darker spots. That's how we accomplished that, was with that wash. And there will be a video, if it's not already up on the channel, about how to wash your miniatures. So definitely go look for that if you're curious about that process. Finally, to add a little bit of depth to his skin here, and actually to really finish out that tongue, I used Pink Horror. This is a layer paint, but I actually dry brushed it on. And we do have a dry brushing tutorial on the channel, so if you want to see about that, go ahead and jump over to that video. Just dry brush it on all over, and you can see just on the very, very top details, we just got a little bit of that color building up there just to give this guy a little bit of depth, and that's why he looks like he has so many different colors in that skin. So that's on the Citadel side here, on the Army Painter side. Very similar squig, right? Good old mouthful of teeth, good old hide with the, you know those colors and those recesses turned out very, very, very similar. In fact, I don't know if you can effectively tell them apart, you know, if they're part of the same army on the table, they're going to look like part of the same army on that table. So, there you go. We started this off with Dragon Red, and you will see that Army Painter's Dragon Red has a 100% color match to that spray primer. I did spray primer this guy with the Dragon Red. So, just so you know, that's how I did it. You know, I could have uh, painted it on, and then I touched it up. Uh, with the dragon red as needed. I use Drake Tooth for his teeth and all that and his claws there. And this is a very light color. You can see the swatch on the top of the lid. Very light color, but we've got some shading going on. And so what did we use for that shading? Well, grab it this way here. We used the strong tone from the Army Painter. Army Painter strong tone, it's a little bit, I don't know if you can really hear it or see it, a little bit thicker than that Agrax Earthshade, and so you can see, like, I don't know, his teeth, I feel like, are extra gunked up with it. That horn got a good amount of it on there, and then it really sunk into those recesses all around him there. Very, very nice on our squig. Then, of course, to finish him off, we dry brushed with this Wasteland Soil, kind of like we did with the Pink Horror. In fact, same process as we did with the Pink Horror on the Citadel miniature, and so just kind of the absolute highest pieces, you know, 
the the sharpest details got a little bit of that color on there just to give him a little bit of extra something just yeah you know, i don't know it really really just kind of brings that out i did also kind of go crazy with that color down on this little pile of things that he's knocking over i might paint that differently i want it to get a little bit of blue and i got to finish up this base here but today we're focused on those models and wow are they very similar very 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 similar i will say the major difference here is camera can't figure out which uh, squig it wants to focus on there the major difference between these two here there they go or maybe we can get them both in focus we keep them out here major difference the army painter strong tone is a lot thicker and that was an advantage on this squig i have to say if you're painting something like a squig where like i wanted a good bit of that to stick around on this guy i really did I feel like it it really stuck kind of naturally on him. To get enough to stick on this guy, I really had to bucket on that Citadel stuff, and I feel like it pooled a little funny in some of the areas to accomplish the same effect. So, definitely an advantage here to the Army Painter Strong Tone over the Citadel Agrax Earthshade. Now, if you've been using Agrax Earthshade for a while and say, oh man, I love that stuff, lots of people do. I am a Strong Tone convert. So I'm, uh, I'm now firmly in camp Strong Tone. In fact, I think I have three bottles of this stuff laying around now. So plenty of that. Uh, well, I, don't know, I still think I'm going to use it all up and have to buy more. But definitely, uh, definitely go in there. Uh, I mentioned already the layer paint for the bones was a mistake. But there's plenty of good Citadel colors you could use for those bones. I probably... Now, if I painted him again, would do something a little darker than the Drake Tooth going on for his teeth. Though they turned out just fine, so maybe I honestly wouldn't. It's just kind of how I've been painting my bone colors lately. I've been using something like this skeleton bone. It's just a little bit darker. Not appreciably, but darker enough. Then finally, for the dry brush, uh, the Citadel layer paints dry brush just fine. You don't need a Citadel dry paint to dry brush with them. In fact, I have bad luck dry brushing with the Citadel dry paints. Army Painter uh, paints a paint a paint, so Wasteland Soil, I just dry brushed with it. These are very close in color. Haven't done a color compare on them yet, but definitely going to eventually, just to kind of see where we're at with some of those pink type colors. Anyways, maybe you're painting some squigs and you find this helpful. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.